found a treasure in my eyepieces. I bought a telescope uh, some months ago. Uh, it was second hand, and uh, what I uh, it, it it came with the eyepiece, well, only one eyepiece. And when I was looking and filming with that eyepiece, I noticed this very clear images it gives. Nothing like similar to any other other eyepieces that I had, and I was surprised. Oh, I didn't know much about orthos and so. I uploaded a video, and uh, somebody made a comment about it that this is not an ortho. I didn't know exactly what ortho. I studied about orthos. I was not really appreciative of the difference, but I thought that this one is good. It, probably the telescope is good. But now tonight I'm going actually to try it on uh, Jupiter and Saturn. Anyway. What I've noticed is that it is Japanese, but it is a special Japanese orto with a circle E. I will try to show that to you. Yeah, as you can see, there is a circle V, Japan circle V. And if I can be right, this is a one or double circle. Anyway, uh, this is a Vixen. V stands for Vixen. This is a brilliant orthoscopic uh, eyepiece. I was sure it is good because I could see it. I could see the quality. But now, I was wondering why that person was telling to me that's not ortho. What was in it for him? <laughs> what the difference it made for him? The only thing is that uh, probably he was hoping that I would sell it or something. I don't know. I may be wrong, but... Uh, this was a strange insistence. I want. I have a bother ortho, a classic ortho ten millimeter, which is really giving me good pictures. I have a Tova, I think, uh, circle T, a six millimeter, uh, one inch eyepiece. That also gives good pictures at uh, special occasions, not much good at the normal picture because it has really six millimeters, is really high magnification. And uh, then um, I have an 18 millimeter Kellner, which really gives good pictures, but not as good as the images, not as good as the orthos. And now I found, I came back to this 25 millimeter ortho. I was looking in my eyepiece and I just said, oh. This is ortho. That guy was uh, talking about it. He was obsessed with my ortho. All this was just a <laughs> YouTube video. So I looked at it and I saw that, oh, there is a little Japan V, circle V is written here. I think it is a one circle or two circle, two circle. They said two circle ones is from the 1986 onward. Uh, it's not very big circle, so I, I assume this is two circle. If it is what one circle, that was even better. Two circle in this uh, focal length is also good. I've read in the forums, in cloudy night actually, that this is also good. Some of the other ones are not very good. The lower, the uh, yeah, the lower focal lengths. But this is. I'm going to clean it again to prepare for tonight to look at the Jupiter with this. Well, at least for a wide angle view of this guy. Or moon if it is uh, later coming, not tonight because we are now in new moon. Anyway, now that I have a treasure, I'm going to enjoy it. I was thinking about buying a ortho of a you know wider field angle, uh, angle of field and for well, wider field of view, uh, higher man, uh, higher focal length, lower magnification, and I was seeing that the prices are really high. I mean, ENS optical that is. Uh, they buy them from the internet and they sell it uh, from the eBay and they sell it again in the eBay retailer. Uh, they're selling them at 60, 70, 100 sometimes, uh, those kind of prices. There is a Kohoki uh, Fujiyama versions, 8090 from Germany, even from China. I tried once, but they didn't send it, but the price was 72 pounds in AliExpress. And uh, no, I have one actually, and I'm really going to enjoy this. It's a quite hefty metal. And now I know that this is Wixen, that adds to the value. Wixen is the best brand, one of the best brands of telescopes. 
Of course, Chinese are taking off, easily catching up with everyone. But anyway, that's what we have now. And we have a lovely ortho. Okay, uh, I found that uh, lens had a little lens of this orthoscopic uh, Wixen uh, um, eyepiece. Had a little bit uh, fungal growth inside it. So I removed it. I removed this. Uh, ring inside which I will show you now there are two rings inside and I use this uh, just normal <coughs> screwdriver uh, small screwdrivers to turn this uh, and access the lens I clean the lens the best way for cleaning the lens is use uh, isopropyl alcohol optical wonder of the body is practically isopropyl alcohol you can buy one liter of this for five pound, uh, bought this for fifteen pound, and uh, I mean I buy it again like that. I just bought the uh, original isopropyl one liter of it. So anyway, that kills the fungus. Get rid of the fungus and removes it. This is the and comment I received from this uh, Polish-looking person. It seems that I'm wrong, and he is right. It's strange. Then what is in it for him? Anyway, that was my answer. And this is the reply back. And this was my civilized reply. I didn't want to continue arguing. And you can see my original video after this. So enjoy. Okay, I'm using now the Konos uh, telescope on a very close target. I change the focus. And you can see that can clearly and the leaves on the ground. The distance is around uh, yeah, 10 meter. And I change the focus, you can see the leaves which have been eaten by the beetle. And if I focus more, you can see what is beyond that. In the, in the beyond the fence, you can see the snow can see the corrugated uh, material, some corrugated material, you can see some decking board, you can see the fence definitely, and now I change the focus again back to the leaves and go on the plant. Um, the only thing is that the dovetail of it is not long enough, so I have to just adjust it in one point. If I change that, I may be able actually to use it in a better way. Uh, I'm using the Alter um, Universal uh, mobile phone holder. And I can say that this is really working well. The optics is very good. It had a chromatic aberration. What I've done is that I added the semi apo filter to this, Bader semi apo filter. So it gives really, removes almost all the chromatic aberration. I may get a few more of this just to add to the other eyepieces that I have. I'm changing the focus. You can see the coke uh, written on that. The volume also is written. Beautiful. Now I'm changing the focus to pick the leaves. Yeah, you see the leaves there. This was the setup I was using with this conoscope. As you can see, it is attached to the eyepiece. I must say this orthoscopic 25 millimeter is better than a mid 26 millimeter. Perfect. Uh, I, I'm now a fan of orthos. And this is a telescope as I've attached to this uh, mount for the uh, um, Skywatcher Heritage Virtuoso Maxis of Cassegrain mount. It's, uh, it's not a go-to, but it, you can attach a, a handset to it, make it go-to. It tracks the sidereal movement of the objects in the sky. And as you can see the distance, you can point now to that can. So I can pick it here. Barely visible at the center, if you can see. The camera cannot really show it as good as the telescopes. Now, I go back 
to the setup. This is an unboxing of a telescope. Let's see what's inside. Okay, it's well packed. Look, meter after meter of the stuff. Oh, there must be something inside this. What is this? Oh, star diagonal. That's lovely. Good long screws. Okay, let's see what is this one. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Let me just, I need two hands. Okay, this is a Konos uh, dust shield. And that is a telescope, 80 millimeter F4. That means it's a very wide angle telescope. And this is metal. Lovely. There was something inside it. Let me open this one. Okay, oh, one eyepiece. Quite heavy. That's 25 millimeter orthoscopic, fully coated 1.4. Oh, that's really good. Heavy, quite heavy. It's made of glass, not plastic. And this is a 2x Barlow lens. And also this one is heavy. Oh, I'm getting excited. What is this? Must be a finder scope. Yeah, I'm right. It's a beautiful finder scope, uh, probably uh, 20 by something. The length of the width of the diameter of this main lens is 20. Anyway, good lens. Now we come to the most important point, optical tube, assembly tube. Oh, look at that. That's a glass of it. That's a Konos telescope. It has a dovetail bracket, it seems. Can be attached to any telescope. Doft with a doft wix and dovetail bracket. Okay, let me all put together. Oh, before that, there is another thing here. What is this? Oh, it's a finder holder. That's lovely. Yeah, like a nice item. Okay. Anything else? Thick foam on the bottom, protecting it, very well packed, I'm really impressed.